Hello, my friends. This is Agrisculpture Amy. Thank you for the invitation to submit class proposals for the Jarrett Markle Creativity Bootcamp this summer through the Orange County Arts Council. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for your consideration. I'd like to propose three different classes uh, and that I will be teaching here on the back porch. All of them are nature-based. Um, the first one I would like to call Spirit Animals. I'll introduce my favorite eight animals. I would love everyone in the class to give their first name and their favorite animal. And then we'll talk about um, the habitat and the favorite food of that animal. So um, I have a whole bunch of different favorite animals, but my favorite that I'm going to speak of first is the eagle. The eagle lives high in the trees in a giant nest and different eagles eat different foods, but uh, the bald eagle loves to eat fish. So I drew both of those things. Then I wanted to draw the eagle's head. So I have the eagle head. And we're going to go through all of our animals in the same way. For every next animal, where do they live? What do they eat? And what does the head look like? So I also love raccoons. Here's my little raccoon head, and we'll go through the whole class that way, and then we'll touch upon the Native Americans who loved to create and still do love to create totem poles, which are vertical stacks of animal figures, mostly carved out of wood. There can be variations. We're going to do a totem pole out of paper. So every animal head that you make will then combine. I simply just taped mine on the back, and you'll make your own totem pole with your favorite spirit animals. And a spirit animal is just an animal that you have a special liking for. You don't have to have a reason, you just love a certain animal. And we'll just go with it. At the end of the class, I would love to invite everyone to photograph their creation and share it on social media with us at the Arts Council, if they would like. Our second class is Recycled Bird Feeders. Now, you'll have to get uh, a plastic container. Any kind will do. I like things that are symmetrical, so I am picked a lemonade bottle. I drink a lot of lemonade. Clear, it is symmetrical. And in the class, I will go through, and you'll need parental supervision. With this one, we're going to use an X-Acto blade. We'll make holes on all sides. Another set of holes for the perch. You'll be able to put the food into your bird feeder. We'll attach ribbons from the top or strings. You'll be able to hang it from the nearest tree or shepherd's hook or your porch or any available spot, maybe outside your window. Recycled bird feeders. Our last class will be nature journals with Agrisculpture Amy. And I love to use recycled materials. So I took apart an Amazon box, cut myself a square of that. Then I got old computer paper that was printed out and still had a couple little numbers here and there. But I cut out squares. Then we did hole punches. We put a ribbon through, but you can't tell because this is a piece of construction paper on the back. Different color duct tape around the edges. And voila! You have your very own nature journal. You'll inscribe it with your name and the date, and then we'll have our very own nature observation session. Every day, I love to write down the animals that I see in my own nature journal. Um, today, the first bird I saw at my bird cafe south was a goldfinch. And my bird cafe north in the front yard, I heard a cardinal, but I saw a, a brown finch. That, that was my bird observation firsts of the day. So we will sit wherever you are. If you're by a window in an apartment, if you're in your backyard, if you're in a park. And we will do our very first nature session. We'll, we'll write down our observations and then you will have your very own unique nature journal. So thank you all very much. 
I would love to teach the three distinct classes for the three distinct age groups. If you have any questions, please let me, me know. You can give me a call, send me an email, and I will see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. This is Agrisculpture Amy. You can find me online at agrisculpture.com or at the Arts Council. Bye-bye.